Hi, I'm Evan, and today we're going to talk about the synchronization of two brains. How two brains make one synchronized mind in the inferior frontal cortex. FNIRS based hyperscanning during cooperative singing. Now the purpose of doing this study is meant to examine how two brains can make one synchronized behavior between two people. Now they examined this because singing together is a common form of communication across all cultures. It reflects an index of cognitive synchronization and cooperation of human brains. Now expectancy in this study is for brain activity from Broca's area, the left IFC, and the right IFC. Researchers in this study examined brain activity during the experiment using functional near-infrared spectroscopy and, and a process called hyperscanning. Now for this study, the participants for the singing experiment were 15 pairs, 8 male pairs, and 7 female pairs. The humming experiment, 14 pairs, 9 male, and 5 female. The stimulus, 3 common Japanese nursery rhymes familiar to all participants and the melodies lasted for 20 to 30 seconds for each trial. So this is how the study went. It was a 3 by 3 model. In each experiment, one singing, one humming, they would start with the solo, part, the solo participant number one singing or humming face to face with the other per person of the pair watching them. Then the other participant would sing by themselves, facing the other participant who was watching them. And then they would both sing together. Now the same song was used for all three of those trials. And there was rest. There was 30 seconds of rest between each 100 seconds of humming or singing in the trial. After doing the first face-to-face -face trial, they put a partition between the two people so they couldn't see each other to test for different visibilities and they went through the same methodology for this experiment with humming and singing with each participant doing their own solo singing and then both participants singing together and lastly for the third trial they did a second run of the face to face to see how the participants' coherence increased or decreased after a change in visibility and after already having an attempt of singing with their other partner. One of the first things they examined and one of the first things they showed in the results was a coherence increase for the singing condition. What they found was that no matter the, vis the visibility condition, the pair singing was greater than the single, than the individual singing in terms of coherence. For the singing experiment, they only found a coherence increase in the left inferior frontal cortex, whereas, as Emily will explain, the humming experiment showed a coherence increase in multiple parts of the brain. This chart right here shows the differences for each of the visibility conditions and the three trials for each of those visibility conditions and how we can see a coherence increase for the pair condition on all three of them higher than that individual trials, uh, individual trials single person uh, singing attempt. 